All right, so we got the nine pin, as you can see back there on top of the valve cover, the new plug put in and loomed up and soldered. I didn't think y'all would want to sit there and watch the exciting, uh, thrilling adventure of soldering wires. So we got that done, got our 42 pin plug back on, and we're getting ready to test run them before we put all the turbo piping on. What I wanted to show you guys first, and let me get set up right here, move a few things out the way. So, uh, I can do a video on ohming the injectors uh, the, the, under the valve cover harness. I'm going to see if I can get in on this. And if you guys can snapshot that on your phone where you can zoom it in, get a snapshot of this little procedure I did, and then I'm going to get in on this. So this is the pinout from the electrical wiring diagram from Ford of the, the IDM plug. Okay, so you can see the little clip right here, which is indicated by the top. Okay, and you can see in there what, which connectors are used. They're not using all of them. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, the fuel injection commons is 23 and 24. So if you start with one right here and count over, that's going to be 14 on that row in the middle row is going to be up to 26 and we don't really use anything in the top so 23 and 24 are going to be your commons 26 is going to be a ground wire which is the loose wire i believe in the in the loom uh in case something shorts out and then all the rest of these are just um i hope it's not too shaky or just the actual injectors. So you're gonna go from a common. So what I did is I got it highlighted in green and yellow. So green is the left bank and the, the driver's side bank, the right bank is yellow. So if you're doing yellow, you're gonna to go to the 24 common. And then from that, you'll hold your one of your leads on the ohm tester there. And then you'll go to six, which is fuel injection number one. Um, three is pin number 21. Uh, five is pin number eight. And seven is pin number 20. Okay. So you'll hold one of your leads on 24 and you'll go 24 to eight. 24 to 20, 24 to 6, 20, one at a time. And again, as you can see on the paper, uh, if I remember this right, I pulled it off of the internet, but 2.8 to 3.6 ohms is good for the injectors. I'm going to set up my own meter and we're going to do it on the IDM. Now this will check your wiring from the IDM plug all the way through the engine harness, through to under the valve cover harness to the injectors. And if that spec ohms out in spec then electrically you should be good it could be a mechanical issue with the injectors okay hopefully you guys can make this out i'm going to call out the numbers but again um as i did on this printout which you can back up and see we're going to be using 23 and 24 as our commons so if you're on 24, you're going to go 24 to each one of the yellow. Uh, and that will ohm out all of your right-hand side. And then you use 23 as your common and go to each one of the greens. And that's making a loop from the common all the way down th through the harness, through the under the valve cover harness, through the um, injector coil or solenoid, and then all the way back to this plug. So let's see we're gonna go i'm gonna do uh we'll do the left bank first so i'm gonna go to pin 23 and then pin so i'm on 23 with the black and i'm gonna go to pin 22 right next to it and it's oming out at 3.0 and that's within specs which should be between 2.8 and 3.6 all right next one is going to be pin 7 for cylinder 4 so we come up here pin 7 right there and that's 3.1, okay. Pin number 19. 3.1 as well. 
pin number nine 3.1 so all that driver side bank that we just soldered up test good so I'm going to jump over to 14 and uh, street 14 24 and we're going to start that side so pin number six which is right here 3.2 pin number 21 21 is just on the other side of the bolt 3.2 all right, pin number eight. 3.2 and pin number 20 is 32. Now, another thing you can check too to see if you have any grounds is um, pin number 26 out here is a ground. So what we can do is we can do our commons to pin 26 and pin number 18 is the shield wire which is that uh embedded wire in the uh loom so we'll check those out so what we're going to do is we're going to set up on pin 23 all right right there and then we're going to go to 26 and it's open so we're good there and then we're going to go pin 24 to 26. That's open. So there's no ground there. All right. And then 18. 18 is right here. That's open. 18 to 24 and 18 to 23. So we're just taking our commons and we're going to this ground and then our, our commons and going to 18, which is a shield, to make sure that nothing is shorted out. And if that all tests out, then all this wiring should be good um, if that checks out and you still have a problem it's probably going to be injectors or the actual idm itself possibly on a rare occasion the pcm uh, if anybody needs any more of this information hit me up in the comment section and if y'all have any tips and tricks on how to do that you know, we can do that as well and i may go ahead and throw in a video when i get done with this truck to, to show you how to ohm out the valve cover harness. But without opening the valve covers and without having to pull the nine pin and put a pigtail on it, you can pop this inner fender out, which is a bit of a bitch, but you can get it out and you can check this and that's going through all your wiring harness and the under the valve cover harnesses. So it's a way to, to check them without having to start pulling everything on the engine and kind of eliminate and maybe save you a little bit of time. Alrighty, that's checking that out and like I said if if that's not it Could be this bad boy, which is the IDM which sits right underneath this Ford badge right here uh, Like this and that plugs right into it Just be real gentle when you plug these in and make sure that you're soft-handed to make sure that you don't bend any of the prongs You know you always want to inspect all of your prongs here. I don't know if that's going to come in focus, but uh, to make sure nothing's bent, nothing's burnt, corroded. Um, and then gently get this plugged in, start the 10 mil, and then when you walk this 10 mil bolt in, it'll seat the plug for you. And you just really have to snug it. Don't, don't get crazy with it or it'll end up breaking the nut off and you'll have some trouble there. All right, that's uh, checking the wiring from the IDM. Move on to the next thing.